Hey everyone, John Chow here from johnchow.com and I'm here at the San Clemente Outlet for the weekly South OC Cars and Coffee. The show is about to open and you can see the cars are lining up to come in and you can see all the spectators lining up to uh, get a good look and photos or videos of the car. I guess that's one way to see cars and coffee, just line up at the entrance and watch the cars come in instead of watching them after they park. <laughs> All right, so there we have Sarah. Merchandise right. yeah, stand, and there we have the founder. How you good doing? Good morning. How are you, John? Good morning. How are you? I'm good, thank you, mate. Uh, Look, new shirts. New shirt. Why well, I like it. You must say San Clemente representing. Yeah, representing San Clemente. Uh, they they are metric wrenches because God doesn't talk in fractions. Uh, <laughs> I wanted to put 10 millimeter sockets on there, but I couldn't find any. Okay, that's awesome. There's All right. Stuff coming in, John. There is. Check We're gonna go. Out. We're gonna go check it out right now. So, uh, check out this uh, 570. Spider, they're all heading for Supercar Row, which is filling up real quick. And speaking of Supercar Row, here we have Simon. Simon right there. This is his Camaro, and it, it's uh, really it's the very definition of hot rod. I mean, he got he got drag racing slicks in the back. He's got skinny, uh, relatively relatively thin tires out front. And look at that motor. Look at that motor right there. It's almost 800 horsepower of supercharged goodness. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, reserve for something special. This is one of the sponsors of Cars and Coffee, Postar. This is the Postar 2, 100% electric vehicle that competes against Tesla. Looks like a super car traffic jam. Another Postar, Lamborghini Huracan, Spider. Black and green, green brake calipers, and green piping. Nice, really nice. All right, AMG, a G-Wagon, nice Bentley here. Beautiful, beautiful, yeah. All right, Chase 4 GT, AMG. AMG GT and I heard the Dixie go off. <laughs> I bet there's a spider. Bentley, Bentley SUV. AMG GTC, the convertible. Ferrari 360 with the, with the trunk up so you can get a good look at the tight, at the carbon fiber air intake. The, uh, the red head. And the Caspresco exhaust system. Yeah, nice. Austin Martin. Lamborghini. 458 Italia. California. Audi R8. 600 LT. 720. Acura NSX. Porsche Turbo Convertible. Another 600. And another 600. This 600 has got the uh, the roof scoop. It costs as much as a Honda Accord just for the roof scoop. And the other supercars are now parking. <laughs> Porsche 911 Targa. Interesting place to mount the front plate. I would have just gone without the front plate. Classic Porsche Targa. Oh, this is like, you know, first year, the original. And this is the updated version. Boxster S. Boxster S. We have a... Uh, check it out. Look at that. A little uh, cup holders. Uh, it's not an option. I'm pretty sure the owner custom made it. Seeing that the uh, the leather color doesn't match the rest of the interior, but I guess you know you gotta have cup holders. Another Boxster and another Boxster S. Classic Austin Healey. Uh, all right, old Porsche 914. Some punch buggies, punch buggy, off-road punch buggy, and another off-road punch buggy. And, oh, check this out. It's a Roadrunner Superbird. Yeah, this is like the, uh, you take the, 
you, you take the, the Dodge Charger from the Dukes of Hazard, and then you add this uh, aero nose, and you add that uh, that big wing out back, and you create you create the uh, the Superbird, and and check out that shifter. Woohoo! Uh, this is cool. And it's so long. Wow. This is the new BMW M6 Spider convertible. And it's in what I call California mode. California mode is where you have the to top down, but you keep the windows up, and then you put on the wind blockers as well. And this is how you drive a convertible in California. Yeah. You want the sun, but you don't want to mess up your hair. C8 Corvette convertible. C7 Corvette. A C7 Corvette with the roof off and a C8 Corvette convertible with the convertible halfway down or halfway up depending on how you look at it but this is a good look at the uh, convertible mechanism here so the whole top stores in there and you can't you can't see the engine anymore clearly but you can see this piece here connects to there and yeah, and this is all done in about, well, I think less than 20 seconds from top up to top down. So you can see some of the gears and levers it takes to make all this work. I went all red interior and I can't find them all. Yeah, look at that. Pretty cool. I know, I know. I was looking at one. I saw this thing buzzing around my neighborhood a few days ago. I was wondering if we would show up at Cars and Coffee and, and look at here it is. This is, I believe it's called a Fox Hall. So it was a three wheel, three wheel car, but it's really classified as a motorcycle. And as Sally thought it was the neatest thing when, when we first saw it driving around. So here we have the motors up front and it's got a, hmm, I'm gonna say it looks like a manual, but I'm pretty sure it's an automatic. Yeah, and then there's the, the back end, one big wheel. Yeah, and there you go, see? That's the motorcycle size plate, so it is classified as a motorcycle. Yeah. And actually, I'm surprised by the amount of interior space in it, like compared to this say, AC Cobra, which is a car. And I think, you know, because that transmission tunnel is so big, I think there's actually less room in this. Right, there's more room here, yeah. Cool. Speaking of cool, check out those intake. Five Corvette convertible and a C6 Corvette convertible, but not just any C6 Corvette convertible. This one has an LS7 motor in it. Seven liters of naturally aspirated American power. Yeah, these are these are pretty rare. If you can find them, you know, and you're a collector, pick one up. Classic Rolls Royce. This one is right hand drive. Look at that. And that's the Spirit of Ecstasy. C4 Corvette. Looks like a pretty busy day today. Oh no, this is unique. Uh, it's really elevated off the ground there. It's a Mitsubishi. I don't know what it is, but it is four wheel drive. And, uh, Look at that, a lot of room in here, including a baby seat and everything. Super Exceed. Oh, it definitely exceeds, that's for sure. I will just be very, very careful about taking fast corners. Check out this C5 Corvette. Uh, the hood is up because he wants to show off his engine work and it's a beauty. This is a supercharged 6.2 liter V8. And now uh, I know it looks like a giant turbocharger, but that's really a supercharger. It's called a synthetic supercharger. Okay? It uses a, the belt, it's driven by the motor instead of the car's exhaust. So that's it between a supercharger and a turbocharger. This is a beautiful Jaguar F type. I love Jaguar F type because I used to own one. And they're available in the, as a six cylinder or an eight cylinder. And how can you tell if it's a V6 or a V8? Well, you look at the back and here's how you tell. You look at the exhaust. 
Now, if the exhaust is two right down the center, that's a V6. If the exhaust are on the left and the right side, like, then that's a V8. So, now you know. All right, this uh, Jeep, judging by the exhaust and uh, the drag radios in the back, uh, I think it's not stock. <laughs> a Jeep Grand Cherokee with drag radios in the back. That's hilarious. I suspect you may not want to race this guy. Yeah, pretty sure it has a Hellcat motor in it as well. This here is the spill-off lot. It's a lot where you end up when you, uh, you got no parking space. <laughs> and check out the 600 LT. Yeah. The LT stands for long tail. It's a little longer than a normal 570, but it's a signature feature is the uh, top mounted exhaust. So, by mounting on top, you have several advantages. One, the exhaust is shorter, so you don't have to use to make such long pipes, so you save some weight. The second advantage is that the exhaust going up like this applies more downforce. When the car's going fast, you know, exhaust blowing out up down pushes the car down. Uh, the main disadvantage is, is dirt. I mean, this thing is exhaust and it's, it gets this every year dirty, and that's why this is painted, while this is, well, not painted. It's protected, it's some kind of protected coating on it to prevent the heat and stuff and it's all the other stuff that comes out of it. But it is a clever design and it looks cool too, so there, there you go. <laughs> Jaguar F Type R, this is a V8. So that's a supercharged V8. Like I didn't have to look at the back to confirm it's a V8 because if it's an, if it's an R, R's are all V8s. So there are no V6Rs. And over on that side is all where the motorcycles are. And yeah, it's gonna be a good day. Uh, all right, so this is self OC Cars and Coffee. It happens every Saturday from 9 a.m. to 11. The car starts coming in at 8.30, so, and it fills up pretty quick. If you're a car enthusiast, you have an interest in cars, you, and you live in the SoCal area, you should definitely check out this show. So, I hope to see you one day. John Chow from JohnChow.com, thank you very much. Please like and share this video, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys next time. GT3 Touring Edition. All the gold without the show.